I wanted to talk about how standards in the Costa Rican case have been worked collaboratively between IATU and the Costa Rican government and how that has ended up in a couple of publications that have shown how is the, the reality and the opportunities and the challenges that uh, we face as a country and also as a Latin American region. Um, I wanted to talk about that it's not just about making digital transformation sustainable but ensuring it because making it sounds like uh, we're fixing something like a fixing a wrong um, and in that sense I was trying to urge the different um, stakeholders and the different parts that are um, that com conform the ecosystem to uh, work together in terms of um, ensuring the whole process from high-level discussions to concrete actions and influence in the citizens and um, embracing the data, harnessing the standards and uh, getting to work. Well, Costa Rica has very nice opportunities in terms of sustainability. Um, most of the energy comes from renew renewable resources, about 98% of the energy we use in, in our country. Um, and also in Costa Rica we have this solidarity um, scheme about telecommunications that allows to be very inclusive and allows to do infrastructure projects in different rural and remote areas that can extend all the way to um, more vulnerable areas. We um, think also that the challenges have to do with how um, policies are implemented, how policies, how aggressive policies are towards inclusion, towards um, bridging the digital divide, and also towards ensuring um, sustainability issues, like for example, the use of, um, or the disposal of electronic waste, of e-waste, how, um, how voluntary that is, or how compulsive. So we think that one of the challenges, the important challenges, is to promote um, timely policies, and important standards that have already been developed in a participa with participation of Costa Rica, and uh, making sure that the different, the different um, operation that uh, it involves actually happens and happens in a timely manner. Well, this is fundamental because um, it involves many different actors in the telecommunications and ICT sector. It goes from leaders and decision makers, policy makers, all the way to regulators, to network operators, to service providers, to manufacturers, and also going down to social uh, different organizations and the users and the consumers themselves. So this uh, these different conversations that we can have here that are normally high level but we can address and reach many of these different actors um, allow to, to send a message that could be embraced and that could be at least heard by the different actors and um, maybe promote some consciousness in, in them and um, to take the actions that are, that are corresponding. So we've had a great collaboration with ITU in the sense of uh, important evaluation in the national and regional levels, both in Costa Rica and Latin America, um, which ended up in a report that gives us a great monitor of e-waste management in uh, the region and also in Costa Rica. And um, besides that, we've also had a great collaboration in um, a project that um, tried to show the experience in Costa Rica of implementing di different standards and recommendations. These two um, collaborations that we've had with ITU have leveraged the whole waste management in Costa Rica, specifically for electronic and uh, electric equipment.